hello and welcome to the Plutty Rosa Homestead. Well, my husband and I decided to do a fun test today. Um, we haven't done these. This is going to be the first time we're doing it. So we thought we'd take you along with us and then you'll officially get to see him work. That will be a good one. So we're going to do chocolate covered pretzels. So basically all you need is semi-sweet chocolate and pretzels. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to take the chocolate, you're going to break it up, and you are going to put it in the microwave for a minute and a half at 50% power, and then 30 seconds at 100% power. And then you're going to mix it each time you go in there. You're going to mix it until it becomes soft. Okay, so we'll bring you back once we get this all broken up. He's very shy on the camera, my husband. We put it in the microwave. We just put it at 50% 50 50 power for the minute and a half. So hold on one second. And we're letting it melt. And then, like I said, we're going to take it out of the microwave. We're going to stir it up a little bit because we don't want no lumps. So we're going to stir it a little bit, and then you put it for 100% uh, power. So we'll be back when it's all done so that you can see what I mean by that it, there's no lumps. Okay, this is it at the 50% level. It is melted somewhat, but you still got little lumps in it. So we're going to go in for another 30 seconds at 100% power, and we'll be right back. You want to put it in, please, for you? Hold on, hold. No, just put it in for 30 seconds. Is that 100% power, though? We can change it. We'll see. Like I said, this is the first time we ever did it, so it's something new for us. And I'll put the pretzels in the middle, and I'll give us each a tray. You want a tray with parchment paper. Because after you dip it, you're going to put it on the parchment paper. Stir it. And show them. Uh, now, there's no lumps in it whatsoever. Okay, so now... You go on that side? I go on this side. <laughs> That's it. See, and he's not in it. And you take your pretzel and you put it in and then dip it down and get chocolate all over it. Then with your fork, you lift it up and you put it on your tray. You take them out, I'll just put them in for you. Because it's, it's getting hard quick. And then what you could do is you could take white chocolate and drizzle it on. You could take uh, sprinkles and put them on. And I'm thinking in order not to waste your chocolate, you're going to see that you have drizzles of chocolate. When you lift it up, any of the drizzles, I think you could just put it right back in here again. We only are doing a small batch here. Like I said, it's the first time. You're going crazy on getting hard, so we got to do it quicker. We also got white chocolate and different colored chocolate. I guess if you have to, you could turn around and uh, reheat the chocolate if it starts getting too hard. Too thick, too hard. Okay, we'll be back and I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. So here is our chocolate covered pretzels. 
with some of the sprinkles or jimmies on top, depending upon where you live is what they call them. Now I'm just gonna put it in the refrigerator for a little while to get them nice and hard, and then they're all ready to eat. It's just a fun little task you did, could do with your kids, have fun with it, make them up for little gifts. Okay, everyone, have a nice day. Okay, well, thanks for visiting the Paletti Rosa homestead. I finally got John in the picture with me. And I hope to see you on our next video. God bless everybody. Happy holidays. Happy holidays.